Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to today's video where I share what we've been up to so far during the summer holidays. So I share a day in my life and then we actually went to Turkey for our summer holidays. We just got back and had a wonderful time. So I just shared a couple of clips from our holiday. I didn't vlog intensely or anything. I was just planning on relaxing. So first of all, you've got a day in my life where myself and Nuseiba, my youngest, we're making some pancakes or crepes for breakfast. The hardest thing during the summer holidays is thinking of breakfast ideas for the kids. So on this particular day we went to the cinema, we watched Despicable Me 4, which was a good old laugh, you know. For dinner that night, I made this really delicious salmon, spinach and aubergine lasagna. I know it sounds delightful, doesn't it, mashallah? And it was, it was really tasty. So, um, yeah, I've got an onion with some oil, browned the onion, and then I sliced two aubergines or eggplants. Add the aubergines to the pan and then just cook on like a lowish medium heat until they brown and they've released some water. Next I added some spinach. The spices and salt and garlic and ginger paste. And I added a couple of tins of salmon. And finally, some passata or tomato sauce. And just stir that all in together. For the white sauce, we've got some butter, some plain flour. Mix it together until you form a paste. and then some milk bring that to the boil and then stir at regular intervals until you get a thick sauce and then add a load of cheese and then next i just laid up the lasagna it was a little bit of effort you know lasagna does take a bit of effort because of all the different steps but they might be worth it maybe <laughs> so yeah, I'm just layering the lasagna up. So I've got the salmon, spinach and aubergine sauce, then the white sauce, a layer of the lasagna sheets. Repeat the layers. And then I used the majority of the white sauce for the top. And then added some grated cheddar. And some mozzarella slices. A sprinkle of pepper. And then off into the oven it went. And oh, mashallah, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Don't lie. We had some garlic bread on the side. So for breakfast, another day, I made this quick and easy breakfast. So I've got some breakfast muffins. Cut up the salami. Mix with the cheese. Slice the breakfast muffins. 
And you can see what I'm doing from here. It's quite straightforward. So I baked the breakfast muffins in the oven, put them in for about 5-10 minutes and the kids really enjoyed them. So that day I went to B&M and Poundland and did some holiday shopping because we kind of booked the holiday last minute so yeah just had to do some last minute shopping. And then this was maybe the following day or the day after, I can't remember, sorry loves. Uh, for breakfast I made some French toast, it was yummy, mashallah. I managed to pick three strawberries. Wow, very nice. And we went to Primark to do a bit more holiday shopping. And I love these Heinz beans outfits, very tasty looking. So this is everything that I picked up. And next, we're off on our trip to Turkey. We actually went from Glasgow Airport rather than Manchester Airport because it was just cheaper for us. We've done this before. So we got the bus into city centre, then we got the train to Glasgow. Enjoyed the scenic views along the way. And then when we got to Glasgow Centre, we got the Airport Express bus to Glasgow Airport. They've got a travel lodge right round the corner from there. So we stayed there for the night. The flight was around the afternoon the following day. And we had a nice uh, takeaway that night. Following morning had a delightful breakfast. And once we checked out, we just went to the airport and checked in for our flight. So we went to Antalya and we stayed at this location, Chinar Family Suite Hotel, which was nice, alhamdulillah. It was, uh, yeah, it was decent enough. There wasn't many options because we kind of booked last minute. We booked two of these private suites for the whole family. And yeah, the rooms were nice, basic. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still. Oh, but it's a wine, Dolly. Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day, let me take you. And the food was nice as well, alhamdulillah. It was a little bit repetitive and Akil was really missing red meat. Every night he was like, tonight I want some red meat, some lamb or like beef, but there was lots of chicken and fish and I was fine with it, but yeah, he really wanted red meat. I just don't know why. All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah. The kids um, had lots of fun at the pool. I tried to read this book. I have actually finished this book now, which is great because I've been on that same book for about five months. <laughs> Lovely, beautiful, hot, hot, really hot weather, like I couldn't cope. I had a lot of melon. 
and uh, lots of fresh salads in store. And that was what lunch would look like typically. You'd get a tea or coffee break at around 4pm. I used to enjoy that time because Naseba would nap and uh, yeah, just get to relax. And it was wonderful not to cook for a week. So we stayed seven nights at this resort. We had a lovely time away, alhamdulillah. In the evening, we would walk to a local park. Yeah, we've been to this area before and we enjoyed it last time as well. Of course, we went to the beach many times. And on the final night, we went for a little walk to pick up some fridge magnets and stuff. We flew back from Dalaman Airport actually because it was cheaper with this airline. And that's the vlog. Jazakallah, thank you so much for watching. I hope your summer's going great so far. Inshallah, see you really soon. Take care. Salam. Bye.